Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mimi. And this is if this is your first time on my channel, welcome to the channel. And if it's not your first time, welcome back to another video. So today I just wanted to come on here and talk about what are some of the things that I did to stop living paycheck to paycheck. So before I get into it, let me just give you guys a little background story. For years, way before even me and my husband, I was living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, before living my, with my husband, I did live with my parents. But as far as doing things on my own, having, um, you know, just saving money. I didn't even have a savings. I did, When I met my husband, you guys, I did not even have $1,000 in my bank account. It was that bad. I was living paycheck to paycheck and I had really terrible spending habits with my money. I was spending my money on clothes. I was shopping every paycheck. I was shopping. I was spending my money on food. My mom cooked, but I, I was barely eating home. I was spending my money on food, my clothes. I used to get my nails done every two weeks, which was a whole lot of money. And I used to get my, my hair done. My hair, I was spending like 130 to 150 sometimes 180 on my hair every month or every um, six weeks which was a lot of money, which was a lot of money. But let me say that for years, I was making minimum wage. And, you know, of course, I mean, there are people that are disciplined that are able to save a good amount of money out of making minimum wage. For me, I wasn't disciplined. I had no financial literacy at all. So I didn't even know how to save. So um, I didn't have money at all. I think I had maybe like $500 in my account when my husband and I met. And it was really hard, but it was terrible. So uh, I just want to say, let me give my husband some credit. He is the person that taught me how to save, how to like budget, how to, um, you know, track your spendings. Like literally my husband did all that for me and I'm so grateful for him. So, but uh, I'm talking too much now. Let me get right into it. So the first thing that I did, right, that I think you guys probably should do, um, if you're thinking about living, um, how to transition from living paycheck to paycheck to living a normal um you know normal uh life to say where god forbid if you're if you lose your job today you still have money saved up for a couple of months that will keep you sustain uh, that will sustain you for a couple of months the first thing that i think you should do is cut down your spendings i cut down my spendings tremendously in the past three four even five years my husband and i have been together almost Five years we've been married and we've been together six years. I literally took my finances and um, financial literacy serious, serious, I'll say the past three years. I cut down my spendings. First thing, I used to get the new iPhone every, every year. I would get a new iPhone just to upgrade. And thinking about it now, who was I, who was I impressing? Like literally, why was I changing phones every year? I don't know why. But yeah, that was one of the stupid mistakes that I made. The second thing that I would say is increase your income. Uh, for me personally, I, I shared, I've shared in a couple of videos how um, I increased my income by getting into tech. You know, I I worked um, I worked on it to get my certifications and you know prep for interviews and everything for like a little over a year, almost two years. I made up my mind. I was like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna you know try to change my life and turn my life around and which I did and I'm thankful for that so um, that's how long it took me to increase my income so if there's anything that you guys want to do it might not be a career shift it might be like a side hustle or if it's something that you're good at you want to do it on the side you could do that as well so increase your income increasing your income helps you to uh, save more helps you to uh, have a better sense with money because um you know that you did that you increased your income for a goal you increased your income for a purpose well in my sense that's uh, that's how i looked at it and because of that i was able it it enabled me to make better financial choices for, um, for myself the other thing that i did was and i still do this, do this till this day i track my spendings every month matter of fact every week i track my spendings there's an app on my phone called rocket money um the app is free but if you want to have like full access to like the extra features on the app you have to pay for it i pay for the app i think like three or five dollars a month um you just uh um I, by the way i am not sponsored at all i'm a small youtuber 
these people don't even know i exist but this is, i'm just letting you guys know because this is the app that i use it's called rocket money you just sync in your account and then it, it from there it track all your spendings all your spendings for me personally i use my personal my um my credit card, I have one credit card. That's what I use when I shop, when I Instacart groceries to the house, when I buy stuff for my home on Amazon, that's what I use. So the card, my credit card is also synced to the app. So the app tracks all my spendings, all my spendings. So like at the end of the week or at the end of the month, it lets you know how much you spend. So from there, like I, you know, I'm able to see like really where my money is going and where like I need to cut down. So tracking your spendings helps you so, so much. And if you're not doing that, I think you should do that right now. Personally, I do not budget. Some people, I watch a whole lot of videos where some people actually have budget. They budget for, um, they budget monthly. I don't have budget. I just know each uh, paycheck that I get, I have a certain amount that I transfer to my savings account. And then from there, I just track my spendings. I just made sure um, I can spend a I can spend below what I already have left. That's what I try to do every every paycheck or every month or so. So the last thing that I would say is having a save and go plan. And the way you do this is is first write down. Sorry, my my. The way you do this is. Okay, so the way you do this is first you have to write down your income, how much you make, whether it's every two weeks that you get paid or every month or however you want to plan it, right? And then you write down all your expenses, which are your essential expenses, right? Your rent, your bills, your mortgage, you write all of that down. And then from there, after you write all of that down, you subtract that from how much your income is. And then when you subtract that from how much your income is, the rest that you have, you get to decide from there how much you want to save in your savings. Or sometimes what I did to, um, when I was also making a um, minimum wage job, and I was really trying to save. This was after even meeting uh, my husband, right? Um, this was, I think, when we were dating before we got married. I was, what I was doing is, as soon as I got paid, I had a certain amount, right? Just like I'm doing now. I had a certain amount that I transferred to my savings, right? And that's what I do. So you can do that as well. Like, tell yourself, let's say if you make 1200 every two weeks, right? And let's say... You probably live home or um i don't know what your circumstances is but you tell yourself every paycheck you're going to save at least 250 dollars or 500 dollars in your savings account as soon as you get your paid take that money first that's the first thing you should do take that money first and transfer it into your savings so you don't even have to deal with it and make sure your savings account and your checking account are separate accounts me personally my savings account is a different bank and my uh checking account is a different bank so i don't even touch my savings account i don't i'm not even tempted to touch my savings account i'm never tempted to go and dig in and get and money out for whatever reason i don't do it at all i don't if i need to make a purchase that's really uh, for something that's really important i use my credit card and then when i get paid i paid it all i'm not a fan of financing things at all unless if it's a car a car is okay but that's another video i'm going to get into i want to talk about that as well like some money mistakes that I've made in my 20s that I want to share with you guys that I hope, you know, will help you guys in your journey um, that, you know, don't be like me, you guys. I hope these videos will help you guys. And if any way they do help you, please um, like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.